All right, so we're going to move on. Next thing we've got is we've got a dual section here. It goes back and forth. Uh, it's either Comics on TV or Comic of the Week. We're doing Comics and TV review this week. It's just simply doing some Arrow talk. We're both finally caught up. All you Facebook people, kiss our butts. We actually watched it about an hour and a half before the show. All right, so just real quick, we're not going to spend 20 minutes on Arrow because we could. Um, <laughs> so... Up to this point on Arrow, you've got Sarah's back. Right. She's back for good, it seems like. Um, you find out she's had a lesbian encounter. Which was um, fantastic. Which was surprising. That even surprised me. Yeah. Um, uh, I, now, here's Laurel, I... Laurel continues to be one of my least favorite characters on this show. She, they have killed that character so bad she for was me. She's so good in season one. I know. And not to mention, she lost so much weight that I can't stand it. Yeah. She's so bad. Bony and just, ugh. I'm not no, uh, no, and with the no, cowbell, um, bad walking. If you got that reference, you get five Facebook points. <laughs> um, let me say uh, what else. Uh, I still, I think Sarah has very few expressions. She does facial expression. Her teeth. It's like she's always sad. Yeah. Laurel has the biggest teeth in the world. Um, I'm loving the dad actually. Yeah, Lieutenant Lan- or uh, Detective Street Cop Lance, whatever the f he is now. Um, River Song, right? As the mom, <laughs> as the mom, I love. I, I like her being in it more. Um, uh, uh, we now have uh, that uh, Oliver and his mom are no longer in a re- parental working relationship. relationship. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I see her becoming a villain to Arrow at some point. Oh, absolutely. Um. Just overall, though, like the show in general. You know what I missed this week, Roy. I did too. Like they built that up. You know they were training him. He's evil. He or he's mean. He's badass. He's gonna punch through shit, and he's gone. He's got to rest. You know. Where did he go? He's he's going through a lot. Um. But here's here's one thing in the whole episode that kind of frustrated me. The daughter of Ra's al Ghul that everybody knows about is. Talia. Right. Now, I did look. The one, um, what do we call, what is her name? I have no idea. Naya, not, not, Naya, I, starts with an N. I had it before we started this conversation. Anyway, the, the protagonist, the villain in this episode, this most recent episode, was a Ra's al Ghul daughter. Nisi? We'll go with Nisi. It's not Nisi. I can't remember. Anyways. Nissa. 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 Ah, ah. Anyway, she was only introduced in the 2000s. Mm. That character. Um, but she is legit. I did look her up. Um, she's been around for a while. Uh, Roz has done some shit to that character. Yeah. Uh, killed her. Uh, she, her whole family was murdered. He did not care because she kind of, you know, said, I can't do this stuff anymore. Right. Um, and she's his daughter with a Russian. Okay. I don't know what. I don't know what Talia is. I don't know what nationality her mother is. Um, I liked her, though. I wouldn't mind seeing that character come back. But I, I don't too. know if you the, do. But the good thing that was, is now there's I, there's a good chance they're going to roll Sarah. I, honestly, I think they're mil- building a mini Justice League in the show. Cause no, you no, no. Roy. I think they're building in a Birds of Prey. Well, you've got Roy. You've got Arrow. And now you've got Black Canary. Yeah, Huntress has been there. Huntress has been there, but I mean, she's not there in the picture. I don't know if she ever comes back. Anyways, but you got Black Canary, and she's been officially released by Nissa. Yeah, I think that's what we said it was. Whatever. Uh, She's been released from the League of Shadows by her, I guess she had Ra's al Ghul's power to say, you are released. Right, right, right. So now she is there. mm, That... I think is going to work really well. Okay, so overall, ar- arcing to for now, just up to the show, uh, up to this episode, what is your what is your review? Like just five five stars. I I couldn't give it five stars. I love the show. Don't get me wrong, um, but there are things that I, I'm not a, from like the week to week. I'm not a big fan of jumping in and out of things. I did notice something though. 
Um, at one point, <laughs> Sarah says, how did you find me? You have a, a tendency of, of running away from me or whatever. And then she l just lets it go. Right. Like, she does not push. How did you find me? She's a, an assassin. They pride themselves on hiding. Right. And... He has a tracer. He has a tracer somewhere. on her. She didn't press the issue. She just goes, blah, blah, blah. And then I think something's going to happen to Felicity. Kind of hope not. Because of her mom, because of she's Ollie's so mom. Really, she's so really So funny. just, and then Dickel has had a such a much smaller part in the last like yeah. five episodes. So I want some more Diggle. Uh, I, I, I'd i like, I really want them to focus on getting Roy trained. I want him to get his own mask. His own I, I thought I, that was one of the problems I had a couple of weeks ago. The, that was one of the problems I had a couple of weeks ago with it when... Arrow took him with him. Didn't have a mask. He didn't have a mask, nothing. I mean, I love the joke when he said, Do you have a hoodie, though? And he goes, Do you have to ask? Oh, I mean, well, like he says his name. I'm like, y You are so hell bent on keeping your psych secret identity, yeah. but you're suddenly yelling Roy's name out. You didn't come up with a code name like, you know, Red Arrow or Red or anything, <laughs> you know, or Er. I don't know. Come up with something and put a mask on. Can't be on Er it. now, you know. So. I mean that's some of the, that's that's really the only thing I don't like about the show, um, I but there there's lots of stuff that I do really enjoy about it. Like I like the dynamics. Like you said, Laurel, I'm having some serious problems with Laurel. Yeah. Because I mean I think it makes for a great storyline doing what they're doing to her. Yeah. But they're tearing her down hard. Uh, I've had some friends tell me they think that that they're, they're gonna bring her. Like, Sarah's going to help bring her back up, build her body and everything back up as a fighter. Mm -hmm. um, and because the name, her name is Laurel Dinah Lance. Right. Which Dinah Lance is traditionally Black Canary. Right. So some people are thinking maybe Sarah starts teaching her because, you know, like Sarah says, she has, you know, very little soul left because of all the killing and everything else. Right. So it'd, it'd be interesting to see where they take their relationship because of everything that happened. Gotcha. And then you've you've got to have the Slade stuff coming to a head at this point. Very Like, slimy. you're going to get some hard Slade Wilson coming after Arrow. And I don't think he can beat him. I think and that's like, where... Arrow can beat Slade? No. I think Slade had has had too many years of being chill with the Miraku uh -huh. in his system and learning how to use it. Right. Um, I think Roy helps, but uh, I think it ends up being a standstill somehow with Slade. Fair enough. All right. Or